it's system overview time and today we're going to have a look at this. It's the TV Boy 2. Now a few months ago I bought this on eBay and it didn't work and I was very disappointed and I got a refund though they were incredibly awkward and wouldn't give me the details and blah blah so basically I still have the item and got my money back but it doesn't work. Anyway, about a month ago I was very pleased when Andrea came back from a charity shop with this. And guess what? It's a TV Boy 2. Almost exactly the same as the other one. Only difference... being... this one has a standard RF out where this one has some multi-pin thing with, uh, I suppose it's composite video out, which would probably give slightly better quality if it worked, but it doesn't. What can I tell you about these? Uh, not a lot. It's made in China. They were distributed throughout Europe and the UK. Uh, I don't know about America. I, I imagine so. In the, uh, in the 90s, uh, in the UK, they were on sale in Argos. I saw them on sale on these little barrows in Milton Keynes Shopping Centre for quite some time and they were selling them for about £15 if memory serves. It is an Atari 2600 clone. It's got 126 games on it. The TV Boy 1 had 127 games on it, but for some reason they took off the Defender ripoff. Um, so how how a TV Boy 2 could be considered an upgrade from a TV Boy 1 when there are fewer games on it, I don't know. I don't even know what the Mark 1 looked like, but anyway, whatever. Basically you've got a standard D-pad there, fire button there, oh we've got here, select, start, is that reset? Yes, that's reset. On off button there, for, uh, have we even got live batteries in it? Yes, the little LED lights up there. And uh, six volt power supply input there. And that really is it. Uh, batteries, you've got four double A's. You plug it into your telly, you get a menu screen comes up and you can play what are basically ripped off Atari 2600 games. Um, they have where it's like there's enduro on there, and they've they've still left the kind of logo on it, but they've taken away the Activision right, you know, the name, the the branding, and they've done that with all the games on there. If there's anything on there that says who it was made by, they've taken that off, and they've changed the color scheme, and I believe on one game they've changed the sprites. I'm not positive about that, um, and they've named them different things. Um, actually printed off a list from Wikipedia of the 127 games, what they call them, like, uh, oh, let's have a look. Yes, they call Mega Mania by Activision Invader. Yeah, stuff like that. So, uh, this one works, and I shall be doing videos of the games of this fairly soon. Uh, I'm even I'm going to do the ones where I have done Atari games previously, like the very first games I did on, on my channel were Atari games. I'm going to do them of this, the games on here as well, because they're marginally different, um, if only in colour scheme, <laughs> and it'll be a better quali quality video. I'm going to open up this other one I've got down here. I, I can't tell you anything about the specifications, what, what's inside these, because I don't know. But I'm going to open up the other one, given that it doesn't work anyway, and we can have a look inside. Well, that's the underside of the top part. You've got your, uh, your D-pad thingy there, and your fire button comes up there, and your three buttons there. Nothing remarkable about that. And then, well, that's, that's what it looks like. That's all there is. Um, you can just about see some gubbins in there. That's, that'll be where I guess the CPU or whatever it uses is. I can't take this shielding off because it's soldered on and I'm, I'm just not going to mess around with that. That's it. That's all there is. I mean, there's, there's, there's bugger all there. You've got a 
tiny amount of stuff going on in there. I think I can see why this thing doesn't work. There's a scratch across the tracks just here. So uh, how the woman who sold me this ever thought it was fully functional and working when it clearly wasn't. She obviously never tested it, stuck batteries in it, turned it on, the light came on and that was that. But no, this never worked. Yeah, well that's, <laughs> that's it. That's a TV Boy Mark II. It is, for, for a system that was built in the 90s, it's a piece of junk. But if you really want a nice easy way of getting hold of a load of Atari games, want to play them on your telly and not just on an emulator, I mean, you probably get a more authentic experience with an emulator. Who knows? Who cares? It's amusing. You know, it's dirt cheap, it's got Atari games on it, you can play it on your telly, the colours have been modified, the names have been ripped off where they had any... It's amusing retro junk. <laughs> That's all I could say about that. If you can find one cheap and, you know, it's worth five minutes of your time just to play... I mean, you can play Enduro on it. It's worth it just for that. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for watching.